folks, welcome back to the ABC Journeyman. I am the Custard Prophet, and we are returning here uh, to Bashley Club number three. And um, you'll see things have gone predictably badly since we were last together, but it's not gone all bad. Have a look, see if you can spot it. Right, folks, yes, did you spot it? Did you spot it? This This horrible ski slope of a financial situation has had a quick upturn we've had a takeover we've had about five hundred thousand pounds put into the accounts and we're now actually in profit so six sixty seven thousand pounds in the black it's a fantastic time to be alive but it might have come too late for this season but next season we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, a budget to work with which is quite a kind of nice this has meant we have bought in desperately a few players to try and put things right and get us into that playoff contention right at the end. Hasn't worked as of yet, but let's have a look what is what has been going on. Um, so, players who have come in, we have seen uh, Connor Tomlinson, a striker, come in. He has actually got himself a goal, which is something. He he's he's all right. He's a three-star player. He's he's got good finishing. He's not too slow. Um, but the the key thing here, here is the majority of the numbers that you want him to have are the right side of five. Whereas many of other our other players aren't quite like that. So I think he's an okay player. He's, he's doing a job there, and um, he's he's going to add quality to basically a paper thin strike force because all we had was King, um, Devon, um, Richards, Noel. And Thomas, who hasn't scored in five years, so that's that's good to have that extra body in there. Lemar Griffith, bit of a mistake this one, but um, you know we've got him basically till the end of the season. A bit of pace is what I was after. I, I kind of ignored the fact he can't do anything else, but you know there he is, there he is in all his glory. Um, hopefully, hopefully he'll do okay, but um, I don't expect him to be here beyond this season. We're not paying too much for him. That's fine. And just come in is Dan Cousins. We've seen him before. He was on loan here uh, a few seasons ago. They wanted me to play him in a particular position. I didn't play him there, and so he buggered off again. So he's back, and he's going to be playing in right back uh, because Waldridge is unfortunately um, not quite uh, firing on all cylinders. So uh, hopefully Dan Cousins can come in and do the business. We do have another player who I hoped to get in before this this game and this is Max Ryan I think this guy could be absolutely fantastic for us if we can get him in uh, finishing first touch heading all very very strong um, acceleration so he's got the lot really for this level so if we can get him in here it'd be fantastic he's play, playing uh, at a level above us um, and has done that for most of his career uh, that's, no, that's a lie isn't he he scored goals at this level let's let's put it like that so I think alongside the strikers that we've got he could be he could be good and then we can pick and choose which strikers we take with us on the journey anyway let's look at the matches so after we played uh Helston Athletic we had that amazing 4-3 victory we've played four games we've only picked up a point which is not ideal but all of these games have been tricky Exmouth uh, who are riding high I think they're about third Matt Lowe scored a couple of goals there it was it was challenging we struggled to get into the game um, but yeah it's I mean Exmouth are a better side than we are unfortunately away against first place Corsham Town we got a fantastic draw Frankie Monk header of all things uh, got us a point there that was a fantastic result this was the game we absolutely should have won because they're about 12th in the league we played well enough to win the game, but as you can see, we didn't win the game. We lost it 1-0. And then we've just played against Brockenhurst, again, who were playing well in the league, I think. Uh, lost 2-1. Uh, didn't do too badly. Was that a disallowed goal? No, it was an own goal from Fitzsimmons. Uh, the problem we're having, really, is Richard Knoll is completely off form. He's he's playing terribly. Um so hopefully having the likes of Connor Tomlinson to come in and maybe uh, Ryan, forget his first name, will mean that he's got a little bit more to do, Richard Knoll, and he has to actually fight for his place. But we're going to be playing second place Hamworthy United. It's all difficult. 
And then, then it becomes easier. Then we've got Melksham at home. They're 20th. Cinderford are in the uh, bottom half. So maybe this uh, wins there. Moneyfield's 18th. Shortwood, 15th. Lark Hall, 6th. That's a tough one at the end. But those four, if we do well there, we're not completely out of it, as you can see. We're, so, we're currently three points short of Brockenhurst. Um, but if we could get something out of this game against Hamworthy, that would set us up quite nicely to go into this run of matches, which potentially we could get points out of. Uh, but I'm not holding my breath. Anyway, folks, let's get into it. Let's play that game of football. Right, so we are playing King with Tomlinson. Devon Knoll is on the bench. Or Richard Knoll's on the bench, not Devon Knoll. Um, so we got Gleason just behind. Monk, Kearney and Griffiths. Uh, so Griffiths is getting his first start. Back line of Wood, Flitchard, Dida, and Dan Cousins comes in at right back with Hollard in goal. So it will be interesting to see how this goes. I'm not convinced this is the best team yet, but the fact we're going to get money next year, about one and a half k to play with, we can put together a much better side than what we've got, I think. What are we expecting here? I mean, it would be amazing to get a performance, wouldn't it? Here's Wood. Goes long, the king heads it, but to the Pope. <laughs> All matter of uh, stuff going on here. And it's long again, just not finding anyone. Flitchart does well. Griffiths heads it beyond, so that's nicely done. But it just seems like... Oh, that's dreadful. The ball just keeps coming back and back and back. So, ball in. Here's Coombs now. We've headed away again. That's good. Just don't do anything silly. And I'm already not particularly happy with the way we're kind of putting things together. Well, 42 minutes. It's nil-nil. Whilst we're having chances, they're not the greatest chances. That seems to be the case. But we're not being completely dominated in this match, which is good to see. We're just we're not actually seeing any chances um, of... <laughs> and equality which is interesting here's Cousins again can he find Tomlinson he does oh he almost does Kirby came right out <laughs> oh that could have been uh, interesting if Tomlinson had just been a little bit quicker uh, Dido's done well until he cleared it straight to the, his man Wood makes the tackle here's the ball in and where was where was our defence there was two of their men with one of our defenders. Uh, wow. So disappointing. Although not overly disappointing. We've done okay I think in the first half. We can't really expect too much against um, the likes of Hamworthy. But creating nine chances. We just need to get them on target don't we. Right coming out of the second half. We push Lemar Griffiths up a little bit further on the right side. We've, we've said go. Play wider uh, and be more expressive. Hopefully that will generate a couple of chances maybe I don't know we need we just want to see a highlight really that would be nice his cousins we know what's coming oh he doesn't do it Griffiths you're gonna tr go for the pass maybe oh, he does it's King through the middle he normally needs a couple of chances but not today Devon King oh wow and he is replaced Richard Knowles up top and he has done brilliantly there so all we needed is one glorious chance and there we go Griffiths over the top he's the new man finds King beautiful little finish from King past the goalkeeper and uh, yeah there we go one all nice now is the ch can we hold this result that would be a massive thing to hold this result in my my tiny book well, cleared it, which is well done. But here they come again. Woods, a very poor clearance there. It's just gone wide there. Lovely turn from Evans, but goes wide with the shot. Well, Kearney is absolutely knackered in the middle, unfortunately, because he's playing really well. Dom Smith's coming in as a ball winning midfielder. Not sure what we do with the rest of the team. I mean, we could play three up top. Could do that. Not sure it's a sensible thing to do, but it's definitely something we could try. Do we play Gleason on a support role a little bit further back? Why not? Why not? Right, 
Let's get out there. 20 minutes to survive. Corner. Here's Gleason. Puts it in. Loses it. Here's Oriadon now. They're going to try and break, aren't they? Who's this? It looks very slow. Tomlinson. Oh, no. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, this guy, Reardon, has the pace of Tomlinson. Right, I think it's time. Time to throw on Richard Knowles and Josh Taylor. Is the one chance? I mean, you, you look at it and they, you say, well, they've absolutely been the better side yet. Do we deserve anything out of this? Maybe not really, but are we going to complain if we get something? Uh, we won't complain, certainly not. Do I think we're going to get something? I'm not sure. I don't. I think we'll probably end disappointed, or will we? Oh, it's Tomlinson! It's Tomlinson! Wow! It's two one. Absolute madness. We're going back to cautious, tempo down, be more disciplined. My God, batten down the hatches, folks. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Well, is this a kickoff highlight? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling that's offside. That's offside. That was way offside. Well, Richard Knoll, he came on. He actually did something. Is it the fact that he's, you know, he's he's got some competition now? He feels he's actually got to play football. His cousins <laughs> shoots from distance. Why not? It's supposed to be time wasting, folks. <laughs> what a victory that is! What a massive win! Well, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the cat and the pigeons have run into the same room. And I'm pretty pleased with that. I did not see it coming. What on earth does that mean for the rest of the season? Does that mean we could potentially pull out a, a playoff position if if we do something crazy? Yeah, yes, we're still in ninth. I'm but with two points off Helston Athletic. But I mean, surely that win's going to do acres to our confidence and we're going to be playing the likes of Mel Melksham up next who, who they, yeah, they lost to Bridgewater in the end 5-3 but uh, who's this joker? Davies scoring lots of goals for Melksham wow ok folks that was fun um, we will come back next time um because apparently you only see the victories. <laughs> so we'll come back for the last game of the season. We've got four games which are very, very winnable in between then and now. We could easily, I think, easily find ourselves sitting in this top five positions. We could easily not be. I want you to let me know in the comments what you think, we, where you where you think we'll finish. Give me a position where we're going to finish in the league. Are we going to hit those playoffs or are we going to just be outside? If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.